Colorado point of view on the future of abortion rights here in our state. Joining me this morning, the leaders of both major parties, Colorado GOP Chair Christy Burton Brown and the Colorado Democrats Chair, former State Senator Morgan Carroll. Good morning to both of you. Thank you so much for being here. You've had a couple of days to, de to digest what appears to be a very distinct possibility that Roe v. Wade could get overturned this summer. Christy, starting with you, a quick reaction to it. Sure, I mean, this is something that pro-lifers have waited for for decades. We have waited to see every child protected in love and in law. So certainly there's a lot of celebration from pro-lifers that not only can children be protected, we can support women too, and we can do it both together. Um, I think here in Colorado, we face the most extreme abortion law in the nation where children could be aborted until the day of birth. And that's very troubling for most people across the state that our laws are so extreme and that Jared Polis and the Democrat Party has supported that. Um, Morgan, what's your reaction to the leak and the potential that Roe v. Wade could get overturned in a few months? Look, I think they just dropped a bomb on the Supreme Court. I think it undermines the legitimacy of the Supreme Court. And what's really being overturned here is a basic question of whether women are free and equal citizens of the United States of America. The privacy decisions that's underneath it, there is no decision in someone's life that could be more personal and more intimate and more basic to the basic freedoms we have in this country. So I think for two-thirds of the state that is strongly pro-choice, people are devastated and they're watching their rights being attacked and go backwards and they're wondering where it stops. Okay, on that note, we know the governor signed the Reproductive Health Equity Act that basically guarantees, according to law here in Colorado, a woman's right to an abortion. It does not amend the Constitution, though, which would basically make that stronger. Do you, Democrats, have any plans to try to put that on the ballot, say, come 2024? Well, I think our plan is to try and secure these basic rights, whether it's contraception, abortion, personal life and health care decisions in the state and across the country. And if that requires... Um, I mean, we're about as strong as we can be in the state, but of course statutes can be changed. I worry about the rights of women in the United States of America across the board. I'm grateful to live in a state with a democratic majority that respects women as full, equal people capable of making their own decisions. And we might be able to go further about enshrining it in the Constitution. The state is overwhelmingly pro-choice and would pass it. But that, when you're talking about a fundamental liberty of what it means to be an American under this Constitution. The fact that only some women in some states have full equality and protection and others do not is appalling. That said, and I say this respectfully, the justices, including Alito, wrote in there that there is no fundamental right to this and there's no history of it. And he made a number of quotes about that in the draft. How do you respond to that? And how do you even try to go about, um, I guess, going after that or potentially changing it in the future if this holds? It is a fundamental right. With this decision, they have opened the door to criminalizing women for their biology. There is no other set of facts where there's a crime in the United States of America that only applies to one gender. And if I can't control what happens to me and my life and my body, then I'm not a free person. Because all the other rights in the Constitution, the right to interstate travel, we require informed consent, we criminalize assault, all of that assumes that I am an autonomous agent and that things done to my body without my consent is a problem forced birthing goes against the fundamental rights. Marriage is a fundamental right in the Constitution based on the same legal thinking that these are so core to personal decisions that you're not a free American if you cannot make these choices for yourself. No one has the right to impose this. So it is a fundamental right and underneath it is I am no longer able to make the same life and health care choices that other people will and it only really criminalizes one gender potentially. Okay, Christy, on the other side of this, what does the state GOP sure. do now? You may potentially have a big win on the national level, but as you talked about, and we talked about Colorado um, basically enshrined the law to say that women have the right to an abortion. Well, here. sure, and as a woman and a mother, I, I was pregnant when I took the bar exam. I know that women can be successful in their careers and be mothers at the same time. And I think it's amazing that now the people can have an honest debate over this issue instead of hearing extremist rhetoric from the Democrats that literally in Colorado push abortion until the moment of birth. That is not popular in Colorado. That's not what people want. That's what we have right now. I think the real question of this election, Matt, though, and that what the Republican Party is going to focus on is even Joe Manchin, a Democrat senator, said yesterday the issue of the midterms, the defining issue is going to be inflation, not Roe versus Wade. And the Democrat policies in Colorado have risen inflation to 
record high levels, crime is out of the roof. That is what we're talking about. And I think the Democrats, if they latch on to abortion as the issue, they're going to make the same mistake Mark Udall made against Cory Gardner. They're going to find themselves out of a job in November. That said, though, um, Republicans have used abortion for almost 50 years now to get people to the polls. Many could say using the presidential election back in uh, 2016, they were successful in getting what they have strived for for decades. Why should Democrats not do it? Why would they not be successful here? They've pro and we've proven here in Colorado that when Democrats say abortion is the issue and they ignore the everyday kitchen table issues that families like mine, working families, have to deal with, we are worried about our kids being safe in neighborhoods. We are worried about the prices we're paying at the gas pump thanks to Jared Polis' tax hikes and the Democrats forcing their policies on our families and not listening to us. Um, when they talk about abortion instead, people drown them out. It's tone-deaf rhetoric, and if that's what they want to, you know, they're welcome to go down that road and they'll find defeat in November. Do you think Democrats will use this come November and should they? Yeah. So it's interesting to me that the chair of the Republican Party can talk about inflation and economic issues. And while Democrats are actually addressing affordable housing, living wages, bread and butter issues, insurance oversight, Republicans have put abortion at issue. Democrats didn't put this on the issue. Democrats we the had the, the right protected here. In the Republicans were the ones that have been pursuing for decades, going after eroding fundamental rights and liberties. Should we make it an issue? You bet. The electorate cares about this. Two thirds of the state is strongly pro-choice. And while we will continue to work on issues that are bread and butter issues that help people economically, when you see fringe far out there issues trying to criminalize women, trying to ban books, and basically trying to blow up copy machines, pretending it's election machines, this is anything but focusing on bread and butter issues. The Republican Party is no longer a party that is focusing on economic issues and, and basically helping regular people. Instead, they are on a social culture war on abortion, on LGBT rights, on trans kids, on banning books. That is what they're actually doing. Well, and false. the laws they introduce show taxes that that is actually them. in the state of Colorado. Colorado Republicans ran multiple bills to flat out outright criminalize and outlaw abortion. That's what they're doing, and not what they're your saying. your party legalized abortion until birth. You, and, and the law you just passed in Colorado would actually allow infanticide. It would allow children to be killed after birth in the hospital. That, that is, is not extreme. True. That We're is not true. Taxes and Your wording crime. is extreme, but it is not true. Okay. We are out of time. I appreciate you both joining me this thank morning. You, I appreciate the passion that you both have on such an important issue. Christine Morgan, thank you. Thank you. Up